Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be solving Cambridge A level Information Technology Paper 4 for the year March 2022. I'm going to solve the web programming task, which is task 4. Task 1, 2, and 3 are already solved and uploaded. You can find the link in the description. Task 4. Open task4.html in a browser. The page should be a game where you must guess a number between 1 and 10. So these are the files. Let's open task 4 in the browser. So you can see this is a page where we guess a number between 1 and 10. Our guess should be entered in this text box and submit the guess. And we have to amend the file so that the page displays an alert with the text well done if the guess is correct or sorry that's wrong if the guess is incorrect. So the user will guess a number between 1 and 10 and the number will be entered here. When you click on the submit button it should give you a message according to whether it's correct or wrong. So now we have to open this file in the editor. I am using Adobe Dreamweaver. So let's open the file here to amend the code. So if you look at the page you can see there is a text box where you will be entering the number and there is a button for submitting the guess. So we will be entering the guess at the input box whose id is guess. Its name is given as guess and the button on which we will submit the guess is uh, named as submit guess and there is a action for the function check function when you click on the button and if you go through the script you can see there is a variable called random number this will be the number set by the system and uh, the number which we enter will be at this id guess so these numbers random number and the number which we enter here should be compared to check whether the guess is right or wrong. So we need to declare a function called check here because when you click on the submit button it will go to the check function. So let's define a function called check Now in this function we have to check whether the number the user has input is the same as the number chosen by the system and we have to show an alert called well done if the guess is correct. So the number which will be entered by the user is at this input so I am going to store that variable that input in a variable called num variable num equal to guess dot value guess is the input box where the value is entered so the value which we have entered in the input box that will be assigned to the variable num now let's compare this num which is the user's guess and this is the number assigned by the system. So we have to check whether if num equal to random number if it's equal we have to show an alert. So alert well done else we have to show sorry that's wrong. So in the else case, we 
we have to give the message sorry that's wrong so this is the code for the first part let's check whether it is working before that it has to be saved as task 4a followed by your center number and candidate number so let's save this file save as task 4a followed by your center number and candidate number Now let's enter a number between 1 and 10 and click on the submit button. So it gives you the message, sorry that's wrong. Randomly you can check. So it gives you the messages. Next, edit the task 4a file to count an to add a count of the number of attempts to guess the correct number. Amend the alerts as follows. If the guess is wrong, then the alert should display try again. If the guess is correct, the alert should display well done, you took n tries. And n is the number of attempts. So for finding the number of attempts, I will declare a variable called count. A variable called count which is assigned, initially assigned to 1. So that if you get correct at the first chance, it will be the number of attempt will be shown as 1. So according to the question, if it is if it is correct, the alert should display "Well done, you took n tries," um, where it will show n will show the number of tries. So I will give here here n is the count, which is the number of attempts. So well done, you took. Since count is a variable, I will keep it outside the double inverted comma using a plus sign. You took. This is the number of tries, so n tries. Else we have to display try again. So I'll edit this to try again. And at the same time the number of tries should increase. So I will give count plus plus count plus plus is an increment operator which will increase the value of count by 1 so when you give count plus plus first the value of count is 1 now it will be changed to 2 so the number of tries will be 2 here so this is what we have to do now let's save this and check whether it's working it should be saved as task 4b so file save as task 4b followed by your candidate number and center number. Let's open task 4b. Let's guess the number 1. Click on submit. So it gives you the message try again. I'm entering number 2. Again it's giving try again. 
so you can see here on my ninth try I got the message well done you took nine tries so nine was the number set by the system and when we guessed nine it gave the message well done you took nine tries next edit task 4b file so that instead of displaying the results in alerts the messages are displayed on the page at the id result so instead of alert box we have to display the message at the id result so this was the code for task 4b now we need to just edit so that instead of an alert box it must be shown at the ID result so ID result is already declared in the file so let's instead of alert I will use the document dot get element by property let's let me copy this document.getElementById now you have to give the id here that is result dot inner html equal to so now we have to write the message to be displayed so I have given the message here well done you took and tries same way we have to replace the alert box with this value so instead of the alert box I have replaced with document dot get element by ID and at the ID result this message will be displayed same way here try again will be displayed we need to save as task for C Now let's check whether it's working. I'm entering a number 3. So you got the message here instead of an alert box. So the message is showing here. So the message is showing here. This is the end of the web page task. All other tasks are uploaded already. You can find the links in the description. Thank you for now.